Well, good morning everyone and thank you for being here today. Our focus for this meeting will be on several key areas as we continue planning for the rest of the school year and into next year. First, plan for learning. It's critical that we're ensuring that everything's up to date for our February progress monitoring. This includes having all those relative artifacts uploaded and completion dates recorded. Staying on top of our plan for learning is essential for tracking our progress. Next, budgeting. There are a few important budgeting items that I want you to address. First of all, I wanna make sure that you're submitting any needed software approval forms and reaching out for those quotes. Also be sure to update and complete your implementation plans and fill out that needs assessment that's driving the reason why we want to have this software. I wanna make sure that you're ensuring that you met with Cindy Perez or will meet with Cindy to discuss any professional development needs that you may have, especially anything that is requiring your Title II funds. And lastly, I want you to make sure that you are not forgetting to budget for Professional Development Day substitutes if you need that. Sometimes that's an afterthought and we wanna make sure that you have sub money to pull those teachers that you're um, providing professional development from. The overall goal with our planning and budgeting is to set clear instructional priorities. That means looking at our Lone Star governance goals and making sure that we've allocated the funding for those priorities. Making sure that you've developed strong implementation plans from the beginning to the end and knowing what we're going to get after we have implemented that program or that software or whatever that you are suggesting. Lastly, we wanna ensure that there is long-term sustainability and then connecting with other impacted offices. Um, by, by staying focused and proactive on our plan for learning, our budgeting, and then connecting across all our departments, we can ensure that we're continuing to drive student success, which is making sure that we are meeting student outcomes based on our Lone Star Governance Board goals. Goals. So at this time, I'm going to open it up now for any questions or recommendations that you may have. Thank you, and let's have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend.